take a good look at these people, tired, stressed out at the breaking point, occupying possibly the most stressful jobs in the business world. Yes, they're all corporate computer buyers and victims of confusion over what to buy in a rapidly changing industry. Hello, I'm Dr. Gilbert Benson, director of the Brookdale Center for Executive Stress, where these poor souls can recuperate and feel good about themselves again. Hiya, Doc. Oh, hello, Maxwell. How are we feeling today? Like a million bucks. I practically forgot why I'm here. <laughs> you recommended the wrong computer system. Cost your company millions, remember? Upon their release, our patients rejoin society with a few minor adjustments, one of which is knowing what system to buy. Right, Mikey? My boss, Mr. Hennessy, tells me that all is forgiven. I can come back to work any time. Excellent, Mikey. Excellent. <laughs> Mr. Hennessy. Our patients have all had such negative experiences with open systems, they'd like to cause their sales reps physical harm. However, we encourage them to adopt a positive civil attitude towards these reps through the use of surrogates. You're not listening to what I'm saying, you idiot! Thank goodness it's working. This is an executive with a very large company who we will call Ted. I just couldn't decide. When Ted's boss told him to choose an open system or choose the door, the pressure was really on. So much conflicting information. Who, who could decide? Ted saw sales reps from various computer companies, all who had their own definition of open or simply sidestepped the issue altogether. He told me it was open. They all told me it was open! Well, who, Ted? Who? The reps. I remember the first one. It was this guy named Barry Betts. Oh, he was good. He was very good. How's that? He was just so darn friendly. Why, he must have been there at least a, a half an hour just shooting the breeze. Until finally, enough was uh, enough. Say, Barry, I don't mean to be rude, but... Oh, where's my head? I almost forgot why I was here. Ted, tell me what you're up against over here. Okay. Right. Uh... I'd like to know how you would hook our workstations into our servers. Well, Ted, good news. We have a strategy for workstations. Uh-huh. And we have a strategy for servers. But do you have a strategy to hook it all together? You know, Ted, one day, computing will all work together. It's a key part of our corporate vision. OK, uh, but what about my old database? Uh, will I be able to access from my new system? Well, we've got a strategy coming out that really makes sense for that, too. Uh, look, uh, Mr. Betts. Uh-uh. Sorry. <laughs> Barry. Uh, can you integrate into what we have here now? Ted, in all the time that I've known you, what have I always said? Well? That we have a strategy for everything. I'm your friend. Hmm? Now, would a friend steer you toward a company that didn't at least have an open strategy? No, but... Boy, these are cute kids. Oh, thanks. Ted, let me explain the way we work. If you win, we win. Anything you think of, we've already thought about it. And if your stuff doesn't work with our strategy, then we'll sell you new stuff that will work. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> you can take that to the bank, mister. And no smoke and mirrors here. Meat and potatoes. Got it. Huh? Oh, I'm talking about lunch, man. Lunch! I was confused. I mean, you just don't make decisions based on strategies. I was running out of time. I... So what happened next? Uh, then I get a visit from this guy. Or should I say, dude. Some company on the coast. So, tell me, Mr. Wilson. Hey, whoa. Mr. Wilson is my old man, OK? My friends call me Gator. OK, Gator? <laughs> So tell me, uh, why your company? I and T, man. Inexpensive and tubular. Tubular? Uh, but is your system open? Hey, chill, man. All our stuff is standard. Are you compatible with VAC systems? No problem. Max and DOS PCs? Absolutely. Mainframes? Trust me, man. What about service and uh, knowing which manufacturer would work best with man, us? Now you're talking about all those big bloated, expensive companies that care about this and that, and don't worry about it, man. Those aren't for you. 
You want the lean, mean machine like only we can deliver. Uh, but if I have some IBM PCs, you'd be able to service them. For sure. Uh, how's your service on your own equipment? Hey, man, it's great. Check out this list of compatible systems. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Wait a second. Isn't this just Unix? Listen, babe, our Unix is the best Unix. Uh, let me think about it. Ted, you gotta learn how to trust, man. With our system, everything in your world will be perfect. And what do you have when things are perfect, Ted Meister? Total utopia, man. For once in his life, the Ted man will be at peace with himself. Sign the contract, Tedster. You know it's the right thing to do. Just being Unix, isn't what I call open. At least I could understand what he was saying. Unlike the next guy. <laughs> Let me see. What was his name? The name's Wayne. Working hard or hardly working? This nerd <laughs> knew the technical end. But I wanted to buy a system. I didn't need to know how to build one. These are the specs on our new open products. Uh, Wayne, uh, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Enter data. <laughs> uh, your company seems to know open technology. Oh, heck, like there's anything else? Well, uh, what about the way you do business? Uh, let's say my design group needs some Macs. Uh, what would you recommend? Well, I'd recommend you get a different design group. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, seriously, we'll go along with the Max if we have to. Oh, well, that's great. But seeing as it isn't a POSIX 1003.1 API and doesn't have Motif, you'll just have to write some Pascal programs using our subroutine library to make it compatible. Me? Write a program? A trivial task. Heck, my kid can write the thing. Won't take you no time at all. It's all in here. Oh, okay. So how about it? We got a deal? Well, let me think about it. And that's a visit that put me over the edge. When my boss asked me for the recommendation, I, I just choked. Uh, but now, thanks to my stay here, I'm a new man. I can make the tough decisions, and I know the meaning of the word open. Which is? Well, open business practices, which provide a solution to meet my needs. Uh, open technology, which integrates the best I have with the best that's yet to come. Uh, and open services to make everything work together. Right, and in order to be truly open, which of these components should a company have? All three. Right. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's meal time. Ted, I think there may be hope for you yet. How would you like to rejoin society? You mean go back to work? I don't see why not. Yes! <laughs> You see, digital's open advantage means the freedom to choose and the power to use the best solutions available. We're making heavy investments in software on all major computer systems to make it all work together. We drive and support major standards worldwide, and we implement them in our products. And what about service? Thanks. We'll give you single source service. That means on all of your systems, not just on the ones we sold you. Wait a minute. That means you'd service non-digital equipment? 8,000 devices from over 800 companies. We provide maintenance and support, making all of your systems work together. We also recommend other brands if that's necessary. OK, uh, say I want some Macs for my design group. Uh, that means you'd uh... recommend the Macintosh. Hey, we integrate with Macs all the time. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And our involvement with NAS and ACE keeps us right on the cutting edge. But you know what, Ted? Forget all the technical terms. Digital's open advantage means that we will do whatever it takes, no matter what. Excuse me. We're back! Morning, Mitchell. 